Over the past 24 hours, well, when you see in this video, it will have been about 48 hours, but over the past 24 hours, uh, us Ravens fans have been really, really excited. We've been really, really happy. We've just been really, really jolly and whatnot because of the transaction that was made, and that is um, the Baltimore Ravens officially not just being interested in, not just offering a deal, uh, not just wanting to sign, but the Ravens officially closing the deal on uh, a premier wide receiver. Yes, he is removed, a, a year removed from playing. Yes, he has had a lot of significant injuries throughout his career. Um, but when Odell Beckham Jr. plays, Odell Beckham Jr. plays. And no matter how you feel about him, there is absolutely no denying that. So we're obviously hoping that we can get a healthy, happy Odell Beckham Jr. with the Baltimore Ravens. And then I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, Odell Beckham Jr. is somebody that could bring a lot of fun back to the team. A whole lot of fun back to the team. Obviously, Lamar, he likes to have fun. And when he's happy, he's having fun. And we saw that in spurts through last season, but then it just seemed like last season was just different for Lamar. Didn't seem as happy as normal. Didn't seem as just excited as normal. Um, but anyway, Lamar Jackson was somebody that obviously approved of the Odell Beckham Jr. signing. We've heard the reports that Lamar Jackson was the main recruiter in the process of getting Odell Beckham Jr. And uh, Ian Rappaport talked about how Odell Beckham Jr., he expects Lamar Jackson to be his quarterback. And Lamar Jackson led Odell Beckham Jr. to believe that he will be his quarterback. He will be the one throwing him the football. Um, and now while that's not a guarantee, I mean, speaking of guarantees, you know, but while that's not a guarantee, uh, to me it's looking more and more likely that Lamar willingly plays for the Baltimore Ravens this upcoming season now will they agree to a long-term contract beyond that I can hope so uh, but this season things are looking like they are good um, but again we still got some stuff to get through so hopefully just any day now we can get a nice announcement but we'll see when that happens but yesterday well again when you're seeing this it will have been about 48 hours but so yesterday Lamar Jackson in his IG post um, he posted, of course, him and Odell Beckham Jr., them on the FaceTime call, smiling and all that. Then, of course, we saw the video uh, from Saturday night where they were at the club in Miami, even though Lamar Jackson didn't look like he wanted to be in the club in Miami. But anyway, so they've been linking up, talking and whatnot, just vibing on all that. So I'm like, all right, cool. Um, but on that post, it's something that we missed. And it's something that a lot of people miss because I haven't seen anybody talking about it. And my guy, Zev, I was just talking to him um, yesterday, and he is the one that brought it to my attention. And then one of my homeboys, uh, he, he, he texted me, and he was like, oh, I came forward? And I'm like, was, what are you talking about? But what they were speaking of was in Lamar Jackson's post where he posted Odell Beckham Jr. He posted that. But then if you swipe... If you swipe once, then it's a, it's a video of um, like a little boy celebrating. But then if you swipe one more time, it's a video of Lamar Jackson. And in that video, he says, I can't fold. And I was like, huh, interesting. And y'all, of course, y'all let me know if you think we're looking too deep into this. But at the same time, I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't think it's too deep. But anyway. What I took from that was that Lamar Jackson is very excited about Odell Beckham Jr. Lamar Jackson is very happy about Odell Beckham Jr., as a lot of us are. And he obviously approves of them signing Odell Beckham Jr. because this was a move that he was very big on. And as we know, Lamar Jackson has spoken up about the Ravens bringing in some wide receivers before. He's linked up with some guys in the offseason and stuff and worked out with them and said, hey, I would, I would love the Ravens sign. Remember Antonio Brown a couple years back? I, I remember. Lamar Jackson, he wanted the Ravens to sign him. Mark Ingram talked about it too, and there were some other players as well. But, of course, the Ravens, they didn't do it. But anyway, um, Lamar Jackson in, in, in that video where he said, I can't fold it, and he, that's the part of the video that he put in – his post, so again, this is what Lamar put. I think it's him saying like, hey, I'm super excited and super happy about the Odell Beckham Jr. signing, but I got to make sure that I take care of me too. And I got to make sure that just because they finally did something that I wanted them to do, I can't cave, I can't back down on 
my demands. And I still got to stand on what I believe in and what I believe that I'm worth. And Raven still got to come right. That's what I took from it. And again, let me know if you agree, disagree, but that's what it seemed like to me. Because it can be like a lot of people could be thinking, and I have seen a lot of people thinking like, oh, man, okay, Ravens, they signed the outside wide receiver. They signed uh, Odell Beckham Jr. All right, maybe now Lamar will, maybe he'll lower his contract standards. Maybe he'll, he'll, he'll lower his demands. Maybe he'll lower the, the, the salary that he's asking for. And I've been thinking like, <laughs> I don't know about that one, boss. I don't know. Because there's still money to go around. There's still money to take care of Lamar Jackson, too, and an Odell Beckham Jr. And they certainly took care of an Odell Beckham Jr. Like, and like I mean, y'all, y'all saw in the video where we talked about it. When it first was announced that the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr. before the contract details came out, I was recording a video. And I'm saying, like, nah, I, I know it's an $18 million deal, but it's up to $18 million. I'm like, ain't, ain't no way. I, I ain't even think 15 mil. I thought it was going to be maybe 9, 10 mil guaranteed. Not no 15 mil, though. And we said that like verbatim. We said not no 15 mil. And then later on, while we were still recording that same video, I checked our phone and the contract details that came out. It was 15 mil guaranteed. I said, oh, wow. Ravens really, uh, they really wanted to make sure this happened. But back to Lamar with I can't fold. I think he's just letting us know, giving us a nice little reminder, like, hey, they got Odell Beckham Jr., that's great, but they still need to take care of me. And that non-exclusive franchise tag, that's not cutting it. That's not going to be enough. Again, it's just my own thoughts. Lamar obviously didn't say any of this, but that's what I took from it. Because, again, some people may think, oh, man, you're looking too into it. You're looking far too deep into it. But, like, we know... Lamar Jackson is extremely, extremely calculated. He is very smart. And he knows how to use his quote-unquote power to his advantage. He knows how to use his popularity to his advantage, and he knows how to use his social media and other things to sort of get messages across to get subliminals across. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he does. He knows how he does it. He's been doing it for a while now, especially this off season, especially this off season, just with, with the timing of different things, with what he said and how he's going about stuff. Lamar said, oh, nah, I'm, I'm writing my own narrative now. I let y'all talk for the past four or five years. I let y'all say whatever, not anymore. We ain't doing that anymore. So will the Ravens and Lamar Jackson be able to come to terms on a contract agreement? Again, I, I still think, that, again, after the past 24 hours, again, 48 hours from when you're seeing this, but I'll still say yes. I, 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 I really think so. This whole, this, this whole Odell Beckham Jr. thing and how Lamar has responded to it, it really got me like, oh, okay, oh, all right, well, maybe some things could, could change. But Ian Rappaport did report that there really hasn't been much movement as far as the contract with uh, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. He talked about they're they still pretty much where they were at before. He said ain't, ain't nothing been shaking yet, so we still waiting on it. Still, so we'll see. But they got time. They got time. The deadline uh, for them to sign Lamar Jackson to a contract extension is the middle of July. Right now, we are approaching the middle of April. So we got April to May, that's one month. May to June, that's two months. And June to July. So we got about three months and change. Three months and change for the Ravens and Lamar Jackson to work this thing out. So it's doable. It's possible. It's realistic. And it can happen. Will it happen? I think so. I hope so. We need it to. Because bringing Lamar Jackson back is obviously a no-brainer. Even though, you know, there, there's some Ravens fans that's like, no, get rid of him, let him go, trade him, blah, blah, blah. And, and again, everybody entitled to their own opinion. So that's fine. But bringing Lamar Jackson back is a no-brainer. <laughs> so 
how will the Ravens do it? How will Lamar Jackson go about it? Will he play? I know a lot of people are suggesting, oh, maybe he'll play on a franchise tag this year. I've seen some people suggest a three-year, $150 million deal. Fully guaranteed, but just three years. But that's 50-50-50. 50, 50, 50. 50 mil per year. And that, like, ooh, that's nice. Lamar Jackson will go back into free agency when, well, free agency, because I don't think they would let him just walk, but he would go back when he was, what, 29? Cody, 26 now, right? I think. But either way, we'll see. Let's see. The team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Um, and just know that I appreciate all y'all for rocking with the channel, for rocking with us, and continuing to show support. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. And thank you all for everything that y'all do. Seriously. All the comments, all the likes, telling your friends, telling your family, telling everybody about the channel. Because trust me, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. <laughs> And it makes a big, big difference, more than you think. A little innocent word of mouth. Oh, man, yeah, check out this YouTube channel that I'll be watching. Boom. That can make such a big difference. You t in a group chat, hey, check out this video from such as, oh, that makes a really big difference. So we appreciate that a lot. I love y'all. We out.